hearty welcome to all of you. Uh, in this video, we are about to learn quantitative research. It can be considered as the continuation of the previous video in this channel, that is qualitative research. And also in this video, we are going to learn the differences between qualitative and quantitative research with simple criteria. Very first, what is quantitative research method? Here, this particular research method understands, tries to, tries to understand the magnitude or frequency of the particular occasion or particular thing. Then it goes along with, means it depends upon purely numerical way means how much is the question comes here when we discuss quantitative method and the next one discrete and continuous it can be sometimes discrete it can be sometimes continuous depending upon how you get it when you count it it can be called as discrete when you are measuring it it can be called as continuous this is how this different the quantity research method is defined next what is the main objective of this particular method? Here, it is described as the development and application of mathematical models, theories and hypotheses, any scientific procedures relating to the relevant phenomenon here. And it goes along with a particular aim determined by statistical data, means it depends upon the statistical data here there is numbers now let us move into the classification of this particular concept now let us see here very first one descriptive procedure this here it is like describing a particular concept now it involves around systematic information about a relevant phenomenon or procedure. Now, actually, it is to develop to after collecting a data in this particular method. Next one, correlational procedure. Here, it tries to determine the relationship between two are more means multiple variables depending upon the parametric or statistical data which is collected here here the main motive is given on the relationships between the methods or procedures involved in carrying out our research work next method here comes causal comparative or quasi experimental in this procedure it tries to give us the cause effect relationship or you can say these are very similar to experimental experimental procedures but not exactly but it will have its own points to be deferred from experimental research. That is the, that's why it is mentioned as quasi experimental research. Now the next one among the classification is the experimental. Here comes the point of experiment. Now it can be called as the perfect scientific procedure. This one purely depends upon what has happened. Now, it can be considered as a laboratory study, but all times laboratory study is not only the case, even if a case study can also be considered where we involve some variables and count them in that way, such that we can get a number of things like variables and all things. This is how it involves around. This is the simple classification of 
these methods. Next comes along the differences between qualitative and quantitative research. Let us discuss these things with criteria one by one. Very first, the focus area. Now here the focus area for qualitative methods is mainly meaning or understanding the nature, how the particular data works. Whereas in quantitative, it purely depends upon magnitude or frequency of the particular procedures. Next one, type of data. Now here it, 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 might, it might clear out so many doubts. In the qualitative, it is purely non-numerical, means it is expressed in words, pictures, means it is a descriptive one, narrative one. But when it comes to quantitative, it is purely numerical. It may be statistical, parametric, empirical values. This means number, it is completely a number gate, we can say. In the data collection procedure, the qualitative method takes its researcher as the key instrument. It means here the researcher must take some interviews, case studies, literature surveys of the previous works, make a background, means the researcher is the main person behind here. Whereas in quantitative, we depend upon external instruments like surveys, observation, practical, means experiments. We have to depend on the external points. Next, sample size. Whereas in qualitative procedures, the sample size is always going to be a smaller one. Whereas the quantitative is always a larger sample size, means data sample size. Now, data analysis, how the collected data is going to be analyzed. In qualitative, it is purely depends upon patterns, themes, narrations, all those concepts. Whereas in quantitative, it purely depends upon statistical comparisons, means statistical relationships, means completely once again number game. Next comes around the results here. In qualitative, it will be like a particular point, means exactly particular point we will discuss about, whereas in quantitative, it, the explanation of results will be in generic way, means general way, means generalized pattern has been followed, whereas the final assessment is mainly on that is final report we prepare based upon in quality to complete narration whereas the quantity is exactly the statistical significant that's how we do the differences between qualitative and quantitative research procedures i hope this video has helped you as this video is an very introductory one and an overview method and hope this will serve the procedure because it is a short video and to make it clear we have made it a simple discussion here with a, and i hope if you have liked this video please share this video with your friends and colleagues and kindly subscribe our channel fairy tech for giving you good videos in future and i hope you'll give some good suggestions in the comment box thank you